right, how you doing? I'm Dylan Black. Welcome to the uh, Wednesday edition of Daytime Ottawa here on Cable 22. We've got a busy show as always. Go Sens Go! As they've got to Game 4 happening tonight in Boston, and they're up two games to one, which is very exciting. Puck drop at 7.30. We also have, uh, not to be outdone sports-wise, uh, we've got a couple of the players uh, on the show from the Ottawa Fury, and they're going to be kicking off their, uh, their season, their home game, first home game of the year is this upcoming Saturday. We've got some tickets to give away. We'll do that coming up in moments on the show. But first, she is a friend of the show, and I'm glad she's here because she keeps me in shape. She keeps me in check, and I need that. Uh, Kathleen Trotter, Global Happy Mail Wednesday. contributor. Happy Wednesday. Finding your fit. You're an author. You know, you're just I try. A, you're an all-around amazing person. Well, you're amazing, and I just love coming here, so thank you for having <laughs> me. <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's spring, and obviously, so people are out there. They're trying to get in shape, and it's not always easy. They're trying to stay motivated, and uh, you are here with some tips to keep us motivated. Yeah, well, my main tip is that motivation is created. It's not found on the side of the road. You know, and one of the ways that you can motivate yourself is by trying a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you're bored, if you can do your workout in your sleep, of course you're going to want to skip. Or if you hate your workout, of course you're going to want to watch TV. But if it's something you like, mm -hmm. you're going to want to go. So, as I always say to my clients, you got to find solutions, not excuses. Yes. And one of the solutions is to try something new. Ooh, yes. Uh, it's true, though, because when you start to get uh, complacent, and, you, and, and then you, yeah. it, honestly, your body gets used to it and it doesn't even Absolutely. do the same thing. Absolutely. You right? hit a fitness plateau. Even me, I love running, but I have to change up my roots, try some interval training. Um, so that actually leads perfectly to the heart rate training. Okay. Uh, trend. So, so are you saying we've got five, do we have five different examples here? Yes, I have five we, different okay. sort of spring trends spring to get you trends. motivated. Yes. What do we have here? And the trick is, is that if you don't like one of them, you move on to the next one because you just find one that works. Sounds like my yeah. ex-girlfriend. Yeah. I'm not going to comment on okay. that. All not right. my area of expertise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we have first? <laughs> the first one is heart rate training. Yes. So listen, it's been used uh, by athletes for years. I've been using it with my running. But lately, there's been this fury of fitness classes that have been using it. So you go to some place like Orange Theory, which they're opening like 50 studios across Canada, and you wear a heart rate monitor, mm -hmm. and then there's this big uh, board, and you are up on the board. So you can compare yourself to the person beside you. Oh, that's their heart cool. rate. Yeah, it's kind of fun, a little bit of competitive um, fun, right? Is it too competitive, though? Well, it depends on the person. Because you're pushing yourself too much, right? Really awesome point, and for some people, it is. And then for that person, don't go. Or go and opt out of using the heart rate zone, okay. right? So you can. Um, a lot of spin studios are doing it. I've been to spin studios, and I've been having an off day, and, you know, I've said, like, I don't want to be up on the board. And then some days I'm having a great day, and I'm like, I want to be up on that You want to show them who's yeah, the boss. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, but it can be, if it is, you, if you're very competitive, it can be hard. I went to a spin class a couple weeks ago with a girlfriend, and she's uh, injured, and so she didn't really want to be on the board, okay. and so she found it really hard and very stressful. So we just decided that next time we wouldn't go to one of those classes. Okay. Yeah, but you, know, you figure <laughs> out what that's works good. for you. I like yeah. That. yeah that's um, good. And the next one is a somewhat uh, similar idea in that studios often use heart rate for it as well, but it's this idea of cardio classes and weight at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, well, why is that anything different? But the difference is, is that the cardio is on machines. Mm -hmm. So picture like 20 treadmills all in the same room. And all the people get on, you do a bunch of intervals on the treadmill, mm -hmm. and then you get off and you do a bunch of weights with either dumbbells or a TRX. So this actually started like five years ago, maybe 10 years ago in New York at Barry's Boot Camp, and it's yeah. exploded. So now, you know, there's, you can go and you can do rowing and weight training classes, you can do treadmill and weight training classes. Orange Theory, again, does treadmill, um, rowing and weight. So it's just really fun. It mixes it up. No two classes are the same. Okay, so what would this equipment be then? What, what is this exactly? So this is for it's the like weight training. Yeah, so this is the weight training component of the class. So you would get on the treadmill, for example, for like 10 minutes. Yeah. You'd do a bunch of interval training. Then you'd get off. You might do some bicep curls, some squats, some lunges. And then you'd use the TRX, which is a really fun. It attaches to the ceiling. And then you hold on to the handles. Attaches to the ceiling. Well, they have like clips, so it would attach up here. Yeah. And then you hold on to the handles. You do things like rows and push ups. What um, if it like, lets go? Like, would that not be. That would be very dangerous. <laughs> Make a good YouTube and video, though. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a reason not to go back to that studio. Safety. I guess so. Sure. Okay, let's move on to okay, the third on. one. So this is, I could be here forever. Yeah. We just love chatting. Okay, so this is boot camp. So the idea what's great about boot camp is it's outdoors, especially mm -hmm. in the summer. So you get that double dose of happiness. You get the sunshine and you of get course. the exercise. So you leave feeling double energized, double happy. Um, and the other good thing about boot camp is they often uh, use smaller pieces of equipment. So if you like the exercise, you can buy the equipment and use it at home because mm -hmm. it's not expensive. Okay. This is one of my absolute favorite pieces because it attaches to like a tree branch and it okay. allows you to do pull-ups. So if you're oh, somebody nice. who really wants to do pull-ups, you put, you put this on the tree and you put your knees through here. And because it's elastic, it yeah. helps pull you up. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's great because a lot of people are really intimidated by body weight exercises like pull ups, right? Okay. And it also you can carry it around. It's so simple. you can just maybe go on the Rideau Canal and find a tree and sort of. That's <laughs> what I'm saying, right? People sort right? of look and like, what is that guy doing? Yeah, and they'd be looking with envy because they're like, why aren't <laughs> I oh, doing pull ups? Why aren't yes. I fit? Why didn't I listen to Catholic? But Catholics? you are right, though. I mean, because because some people just don't want to pay for the gyms. Yeah, you and know, why should you, especially in the summer? Because the sun is awesome. It will, as I said, it's a double dose of happy. You get that sunshine. It's almost yeah. impossible to be in a bad mood when you're outside of the sun. Very true. Right? We have a couple minutes left. And okay, a couple minutes. Examples, you got to go. So, so this is um, high-intensity interval training. Okay. And it just high-intensity interval training is just bouts of really intense work. And normally it's done uh, with body weight. So you exercises like skipping or hurdles, mm -hmm. burpees, jumping jacks. So you might do a Tabata set where you do 20 seconds all out skipping. Tabata ten, set? Yeah, it's called Tabata. It's a four minute high intensity interval set. Yeah. You do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of recovery, eight times, which is four minutes. Wow. Yeah, it's super fun. That sounds like my work life, though, right? 20 seconds yeah, of work, 10 it's seconds true. of... Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you'd be really good at intervals. You can take up the high intensity. <laughs> yeah, so enough. the last one here is yep. just partner training. Okay. It's one of my favorites because if you have a partner waiting for you at the gym or in the park, you're way less likely to bail because it's a friend. You don't want to let them down. Yeah, of course. And, again, it's fun. So... Our last thing, I'm sure. Are we going to try this out together? Here? Yeah, why not? Are you saying you're my partner? Yeah, we're partners. Okay, we're partners we in fitness crime. Nice. So you're going to hold that. Okay. And you could be doing like a squat. You could be doing like a lunge. You could be in a V-sit. Right now, I'll just let you take it easy and stand. Oh, good. But then you're my, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then I would be doing rows, right? So Look at this. Isn't I'm that cool? In this, this <laughs> and then we could here. switch, and I could hold, and okay. you could row. What's the ball all about? So again, we could do fun partner stuff. So we can squat and like throw and toss. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit I wasn't sure if you were going to or not. <laughs> that would have been a moment <laughs> to always remember. Yeah. <laughs> always yeah, be aware. Always be aware. Maybe that's our lesson for today. Yeah. Uh, KathleenTrotter.com for all these uh, Kathleen amazing... KathleenTrotter.com, yeah. Tr K Trotter Fitness on Twitter and Kathleen Trotter Fitness on Instagram. That's exceptional. I feel all worked out already. Look at this. Look at this. Didn't even need that workout, mm -hmm. Kathleen. Coming up, how about this? Tickets to the Ottawa Furies home game, which is happening this Saturday. We've got them for you next and a couple of amazing uh, players as well. Next on Daytime Ottawa.